Okay, clicking time. I think I'm figuring this all out. I have it set up. I was going to do this outside, but it's 108 degrees out there with first day smog alert, ozone alert. It didn't help my breathing much. Um, the other app is out, having a life, having fun. Something that I miss, I used to have before my world fell out. I am going to call this uh, the roller coaster ride of 2018. I haven't done one of these in a while, so um, here goes. Ouch. Even when she's here, she's not here. She's here physically, but I feel like we're um, two strangers sharing the room. Not ready to be married. I'm still praying for a miracle, but I'm prepared for anything. First, I'm officially old. No! I'm just old. I turned 65 and I feel closer to 80. I have absolutely no intention of being this old. I didn't know to do this either. I have to believe I'm here for a purpose. I don't know exactly why. Um, first shot up there in the medical. My head, my head, my neck is lifting left. I can show you where my hole is. Uh, between the body and neurological disorders, it's shifting my neck to the left, my head. And right now, I will show you. Right. Then, then, the entire section has a hole in it. Um, I noticed it about a month ago. Uh, the past few months, my head's been popping like a snack crack on pop. So, I may or may not have been leading to it. I hesitant to go to the pain doctor or the neurologist because they're going to recommend surgery that they did four years ago. And I have no place to recuperate. I do not know where I'll be living in four months or where I'll be living or how I'm going to be moving. Thankfully, I went to the ENT doctor. I went to the ENT doctor I did my first hearing test ever, which is surprising because I used to go to the discos and the bars and the rock concerts, and the music was blasting, and it the long way is never for hearing. Uh, my hearing is better. The ring in the ear is a little better. It's about half this side, I mean, half gone this way, this side. Um, I'll go back to see him. Next week, uh, we'll debate about uh, whether or not to get here in age. My uh, GERD, I've had for 10 years. My stomach pain is getting worse. I'm almost forced myself to eat anymore. Uh, since my dad passed away April 2013, I've lost 55 pounds without trying, and I would like to go to the gym to go there with all the extra skin, but um, I am doing good just to walk. I'm walking, uh, so I'll just have the skin left for whoever when I graduate from here. Um, I'm averaging five or six hours sleep a night. During the day, I have to spend 90% of my time trying to sell 90, uh, 750 items of most of my belongings, which leaves me little time to do anything else. Um, I end up going to bed at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, 
and the other half thinks, oh well, hell, you can stay up that late, you can um, you can work, but you don't get it. You just play the game. By the way, I'm using the CBD pain rub, which works a whole lot better than other pain pads and pain rubs I've used before. Um, I tell in my pocket. Hold on. So, I'm pretty well forcing myself to eat. Ow. So, I got a point with the girl doctor eventually. Um, I got the COPD and the good bronchitis and physique and asthma for about 10 years. Hurts here and the middle of my chest when I take a deep breath. When I go outside, I have to go wear a breathing mask. First, especially when it's the first stage, ozone alert like today. Um, my motions are. I would wish I could lie and say, hey, I'm happy, everything's fine, everything's cool. I'm on top of the world. No stress at all. I'd be lying for my teeth. I've had three major events happen this year that were fun. Three. Um, I turned from back home in LA, came by, uh, so we spent a few hours together. That was in February. Uh, my mom and I, ow. my mom and I went to the uh, aquarium for my birthday, and hopefully next week we we'll get to go to another light show which I just done. But if I don't get away pretty soon, I'm gonna go my sugar. I remember an old line from the movie Backbeat, the Beatles movie, called. Why are you so angry? Answer is what John supposedly said. I'm not angry, sister. I'm bloody desperate. That pretty well describes my black and white reality. Um, what I'm telling you is my black and white world, whether I like it or not. I would pay anything if I could wake up tomorrow and both of us go back to work making good money and I would make a difference by helping to fight cancer. The, the job was five miles from here. When I moved up here in October 2011, uh, we were both working full time and uh, earning great benefits. I knew when the job, when the door closed in January 2014, it was going to be difficult, right? Ow. I had no idea how to pull. Uh, this has gotten me way out of my comfort zone, so my higher power God is the one to keep me low. I've been trying to get to the gym still for months, and I'm still determined. Ow. Um, just to remind Mary, I see or hear from anyone off the internet, which is totally different in the way I was raised. Uh, being a military kid, I moved around everywhere. And I knew my neighbors. We had a thing called community. We had neighborhood parties. And I had people to hang out with. At some point, in 24 years I've been here, I thought maybe I could break in. I don't know anymore. I feel like I feel like I'm on some isolated island somewhere, um, trying to build a something that will float and get me off, get me back to um, having a real life again. Two big things going on since. Um, since my dad passed away and my job career crashed, 
first it took me from 1977 to 1995 to get my first job in the office before then I had worked custodial I had a landscape business and I worked restaurants and all over the place so I know step one says um, we accept the things we cannot change and I'm still trying to accept it after four years. Uh, that I'll never be able to work again. Which is hard to handle considering also that my income has been cut below half. Also I'm trying to figure out I went through all this nightmare, hell, whatever we had to get clean and sober, stay clean and sober, to get back in uh, reality, to be responsible, to quit smoking, and all of a sudden my body went to hell. Some would say, hell, you paid for it. You, uh, uh, you play the game, pay the price. We say, yes, it's true. Um, Like that, you know. Uh, I keep having to tell myself, despite what's going on, my life isn't over, and I'm still here for a purpose. My other half is on the case constantly. Um, she goes, well, you chose to drink and use, so you're paying for it. I told her this morning, look, life doesn't always give us choices. Uh, I didn't choose to be in a position right now. Uh, you do what you got to do to survive. I, despite being in the program since 88, um, uh, I still wish I did not know what it was like to be drunk. Comfortably numb, loaded, stoned, altered realities because it would make things a whole lot easier now to do with. Um, it is what it is. I may be chasing a lucid dream, but I keep trying to get the same rush or high uh, sober that I did loaded and it is rarely, sometimes it does it on, um, I do the mindfulness for meditation, but not as often as I would like. Right now, in black and white, they have, but the reason I'm calling this a roller coaster. Starting January 1st, they up my rent to 805. I get 9.27 a month, a tip. I am surviving on the sales and the retro uh, money from the uh, two and a half years to me get on disability. I will have to have a serious conversation with the other half, decide if we're going to stay together, uh, like very soon. I can't wait till the last minute. I do not know where I'm going to be living. They have jacked the price up here, the rent, but they have back home in LA and across the country. Homelessness is increasing. And despite what the actor in DC says, the economy is not that better, not much better. There's only one page of newspaper ads. Back in the 70s and 80s, there were pages and pages. So, as I say, tell a lie often enough to believe it. I know otherwise. Uh, so, on top of my dealing with the cells, I got to deal with 15 medical conditions, the mental or emotional abuse from the other half. Um, just call me every name in the book. 
Ai, ai de hoje. Um, and try to have in cut fun, which is very, but I try to win. Um, so needless to say, it's been a roller coaster ride. I yeah. I'm hoping one day I'll wake up and this will be I'll finally be over. I love life again. I will have people to hang out with. And as you know, I'm medically dying from poor conditions. So one of my goals is to actually have a life before I go home. Um, if my present scenario was going to last forever, if I thought it was, I would be in serious jeopardy. So that is where I'm at. Um, ow. Anyway, I'm again. I just I had check in. This is my black and white world. Um, it is what it is. I know what it is to be depressed. I don't remember the last time I actually had eight hours sleep. Um, when I was woke up full day awake. Uh, when I actually felt like I belonged or I was wanted. That's a good. Um, So, uh, I had to believe that I'm still here for a purpose. Ouch. And I hope this makes some kind of sense. Uh, right now, most of reality, my world, and the world makes the most sense. Thankfully, I have the memories and the music. So, anyway, uh, that's where I'm at. And I'm not going to edit it because, ow, it is what it is. So, with that, I'll sign off and move on to the next project. Right. Uh, for those out there, please pray I can get the 750 items sold. Um, find an affordable place to live. Um, try not to have a panic attack or walk in fear. They're hard to do sometimes. Anyway, this time I'll sign off.